Yeah, record rainfall. Yeah, record rainfall at the airport. Yep. Uh, especially at DFW. So we definitely have our hats off to you as Doug brought that up. We definitely are appreciative of it. As you take a look right now, the area of low pressure is pulling its way off towards the north end of the northeast. So we have two areas of convection kind of happening. One is more elevated. That's off towards the north and the west, as you can see uh, near Wichita Falls. That's pulling its way northeast. Down towards the south and the east, we have a line that pretty much is along this warm frontal boundary trying to push its way on through. That's also pulling its way east. So radar sweep is searching for anything, and we do have a little bit of rain still in parts of the Metroplex, in parts of Colony County, up in parts of Jack County and Jacksboro. Isolated storms also holding together some elevated storms there. No threat of severe weather as we go through the remainder of the night tonight. Down towards the south and the east, a little bit of rain still holding together down near Kim, down to near Corsicana, and pulling its way eastward. So how much rain did we see today? Anywhere between one to two inches of rain, two to three inches in some spots, some localized spots. Even more than that, four inches of rain uh, in, at the airport. 2.93 inches of rain officially at DFW. So we have that low pressure now pulling its way into parts of Oklahoma. Still, our temperatures upper 50s to the low 60s holding on across the Metroplex and across North Texas. About 62 in Athens right now to 65 Palestine. We have 59 right now in Fort Worth. So temperatures won't change too much as we go through the next couple of hours. Eventually, tonight, we'll start to see them dip their way down to the low 50s. Our visibility about 10 miles for Addison to 3 in Duggaville to about half a mile in Fort Worth. And the forecast through the remainder of the night tonight shows that we're going to be dealing still with some patchy fog around by the time you wake up tomorrow morning. But then, with more sunshine peeking out, we start to see the temperatures warm up and also that any fog that's in the area just kind of burn off. By the afternoon hours, we'll make it in the mid to the upper 60s. And then for tomorrow night, we'll see clearer skies on the way. So decreasing, decreasing clouds tomorrow and mild temperatures will make it up to about 66 to 67 degrees with a south southwest wind holding on. Cold air is well off towards the northwest, but it is on the way here to North Texas. Thursday, I'm expecting 75 degrees. Cold front then blasts through by Friday and midday. We're going to see only 46 for your high on Saturday. Then another cold front passes through, and we have it sticking around for Christmas. Monday, we'll see 41 to 42 degrees. So high temperatures Friday 46, Saturday 47, Sunday 40, and then on Christmas Day 41. And then we needed to look at the morning temperatures as well because we're going to have temperatures below freezing as we go into the holiday. 25 degrees on Christmas morning. You're watching CBS 11 News, the ones for Texas weather. We'll be right back. Thank you.